everybody, it's Bella from Permanent Makeup by Gwendolyn and I would just like to talk to you guys about um, some of the, the requests that we receive from not only our students but also potential clients. Um, we often find that um, there's a lot of students who'd like to be retrained um, because they've trained maybe once, twice, sometimes two, some, well three or four times even. Um, and they still do not understand color concept. They do not understand how to use the pigments. They do not understand skin tone. They do not understand, you know, how to use the anesthetics. Uh, a lot of them don't even understand why they need to use a secondary anesthetic, uh, anesthetic to, to keep their clients comfortable throughout their procedures. Um, another thing at the moment that we've heard a lot about and we've received a lot of calls, especially in the last week or two, is requests to remove um, permanent makeup, especially eyeliner at the moment. Um, obviously we, we book the consultation to, to see what we can do for them, um, but a lot of the time it's either too thick or uneven or one has a flick on the side that they'd like removed or it's gone too deep and it's migrated into certain areas of the face. Um, another big one is obviously the eyebrows, so a lot of the time they're also uneven or an arch is higher than the other. Um, and then we have to slowly remove it and then they come back and then we redo it for them. Finally, whether you are a, a prospective client wanting to do a permanent makeup procedure or a student wanting to get into the industry, make sure that the practitioner you choose has got the right expertise and not just expertise but a deep passion for the industry. It's not just a passion about money, it's about the quality of what you deliver. It's on your body forever!